Thank you. I, I echo the other speakers and the opportunity to present our data. Uh, I am presenting on behalf of my co-investigators from the Destiny Breast 04 trial as a global study. Uh, and it's, it's an honor to present the first results from the randomized phase three trial of trastuzumab durextecan, which is a HER2 antibody drug conjugate, versus the treatment of physician's choice in patients with HER2 low metastatic breast cancer. So we currently define the HER2 status of breast cancers in a binary model where HER2 positive breast cancers driven by the oncogene are treatable with currently available HER2 targeted therapies. HER2 negative breast cancers are not. However, within the HER2 population, there are tumors that have low levels of HER2 expression, which we have termed HER2 low breast cancer, uh, for which this HER2 receptor may still be targetable. Our currently available therapies, however, or HER2 targeted therapies, have not proven effective for patients in this subgroup. We currently treat these HER2 low uh, breast cancer patients as HER2 negative breast cancer, where therapy is really guided by hormone receptor status. And ultimately, once we've exhausted endocrine therapies and the few lines of targeted agents, we really have limited late line options for these patients. Uh, most commonly offering uh, palliative single agent chemotherapy, and, and this has very modest activity, so we, we really uh, have a big unmet need for more effective therapies. So trastuzumab durexican, called TDXD, is a next generation HER2 targeted antibody drug conjugate, and by virtue of its unique properties and mechanism of action, in particular the bystander effect, it has activity across a broad range of HER2 uh, expression uh, in tumors. And in our own proof of principle phase one trial, we've <clears throat> excuse me, previously reported promising efficacy for, for TDXD in patients with heavily pretreated HER2 low breast cancer. So this really set the stage for the Destiny Breast 04 trial, which is the first randomized phase three study of trastuzumab durextecan in patients with HER2 low metastatic breast cancer. This was an open label, multi-center, multi-nation trial we enrolled patients with centrally confirmed HER2 low breast cancer who had previously received one or two lines of chemotherapy in the metastatic setting. Uh, in addition, patients with hormone positive breast cancer were required to have endocrine refractory disease. We defined HER2 low uh, by IHC scores of one plus or two plus without gene amplification using the ASCO CAP guidelines. Randomization was two to one and TDXD was given at the approved dose. The physician's choice of chemotherapy options included capecitabine, aribulin, gemcitabine, paclitaxel, and NAB paclitaxel, and they were administered per the local label. Uh, the prim oh, I should go back for one sec. The primary endpoint of Destiny Breast 01 was progression-free survival in the patients with hormone-positive HER2 low breast cancer. Key secondary endpoints were progression-free survival for all patients and overall survival for the hormone receptor positive patients and all patients on the study. We plan to enroll 540 patients, approximately 480 hormone positive patients, and 60 hormone receptor negative patients to reflect the natural prevalence of these receptor subtypes uh, seen in the HER2 low population. And now here are the results. Um, so starting with progression-free survival, I'm showing here you here the, the PFS curves for the entire study population. The PFS hazard ratio was 0.5, with a p-value less than 0.0001. This translates to an improvement in median progression-free survival from 5.1 months with chemotherapy to 9.9 .9 months with TDXD. These results were similar uh, to the findings for the hormone receptor positive cohort and also the exploratory hormone receptor negative cohort. Overall survival was a key secondary endpoint, and these are the curves, again, for the entire study population. The OS hazard ratio is 0.64, with a significant p-value of 0.001. The median overall survival improved from 16.8 months with standard chemotherapy to 23.4 months with TDXD, which is a 6.6-month gain in survival. To summarize, Destiny Breast 04 met its primary and secondary endpoints. TDXD is the first HER2 targeted therapy to demonstrate statistically significant and clinically meaningful improvements in progression free survival and overall survival compared to standard chemotherapy for patients with HER2 low metastatic breast cancer. 
The benefits uh, of TDXD were seen across subgroup, subgroups, including the hormone receptor positive and negative patients, and the IHC 1 plus and 2 plus breast cancers. Um, I will present more data about toxicity at the, at the full meeting, but we, we know where we acknowledge that lung toxicity is an important toxicity of TDXD. In the Destiny Breast 04 trial, we saw lung toxicity in 12% of patients, including a 0.8% incidence of grade 5 events with three reported deaths, highlighting the importance of awareness and close monitoring of patients uh, to prevent the, the serious toxicity. The safety profile of TDXD in general was consistent with what we have seen in other trials. Overall, the results, uh, these results establish HER2 low metastatic breast cancer is a targetable population of breast cancer with trastuzumab durexican as a new standard of care in this setting. Thank you. Thank you.